Well, let me make us sound possible. Make us, my name is Taffrey16. Welcome back to another reaction video. Welcome to my second reaction to Family Fortune. So this is a channel points request by Scarl. Thank you, Scarl, for using your points on this. The episode we are going to watch today is called The Dolbys vs. The Johnsons. It premiered on October 28th, 1983. And this episode is hosted by Max Bygraves. He took over... Uh, for Bob Monkhouse in 1983, so this is probably not too long into his hosting tenure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what month he took over, but couldn't have been that long. Uh, so let's go ahead and watch it. All right, it's here we go. Family fortune with the Dolby family from Worthing in Sussex, Rick, Doreen, Yvette, Tina, and Tatum, and the Johnson family from Ware in Hertfordshire. Brian, Jenny, Bob, Margaret, and Mark, all here to play Family Fortune. And among tonight's hidden prize oh, wow. are a fridge, a kettle, toaster, fryer, and percolator, an espresso coffee bar, a carriage block, a fridge freezer, a mini hi-fi system, a Bet. weekend break for two in Stratford on Avon. I'll take the fridge. And here is your host, Max Bygrave. There's the man. I don't believe it. Surely all that applause cannot be for one ordinary man. <laughs> no, Max, it is for you. <laughs> oh, then I can believe it. Such humility. Family fortunes. The big prize tonight is £1,000. That's a lot in the 80s. So let's go and meet the families who are going to take part in the show tonight. <laughs> Hiya, Vic. Why don't you introduce us to your lovely family here? This is my wife, Doreen. Doreen. My daughter, Yvette. Yvette, yes. My daughter, Tina. Tina. Father-in-law, Taffy. Taffy, that's the yeah, old man, is that's it? That's the old man. And it says Excuse me? you're a builder. <laughs> hey, listen, you're a builder. Have you ever seen double-double <clears throat> glazing? Double-double glazing? No. Well, you want to see our producer's eyes just before they shout, time's up. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Doreen, you're Victor's wife. Have you got any big ambitions? I'd like to learn to ride a horse properly. Oh, you've got the same ambitions as Prince Charles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Yvette, what do you do to make a crust? I'm a pharmaceutical packer. A pharmaceutical? Oh, you're the one that stuffs all the cotton wool down <laughs> in those little aspirin bottles, isn't That's it? Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And um, you're, um, you're Tina. That's right. And what's your ambition? Turner. Um, my ambition is to yeah. buy a yacht and sail to the Bahamas. Oh, I know a fella. He was a sailor. He smuggled a girl aboard. He kidded her he was going to the Bahamas. And after spending three weeks hiding in his cabin, she found out she was on the Woolwich Ferry. <laughs> and then there's... Uh, Taffy, what do you do? Nothing. I'm retired. Is it? Retired? <laughs> Good for you, buddy. Let's meet the Johnson family! Hey, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Could I ask them what he and used to do? this is the Johnson family. They come from where? Yes. Where? Where in Hertfordshire, you see? Brian, introduce us to the family, please. Yes. This is my wife, Jenny. Jenny, yes. My father, Bob. Bob. My sister-in-law, Margaret. Sister-in-law, Margaret. Oh, we can see. And my brother-in-law, Michael. Michael, yeah. And you're also a builder. But you, uh, this is strange, you're a builder, but you don't like doing jobs around the house. No, not no, at all. Not at all. Jenny, you like reading. What, what sort of books do you read? Mills and Boom. Oh, they're the Barbara Cartland publishers, That's aren't right, they? That's right, yeah. yes. We call them dotty books. Do you know why? <laughs> no. Well, usually they say things like, he took her in his arms, he crushed her to his breast, he laid her on the couch and dot, 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 dot. <laughs> <laughs> and Bob? Yes. Robert? <laughs> you come from Barbara. a large family, don't That's you? Quite, quite. Yeah. How many, how many in your family? There was 13. Yeah. Wow. Margaret, you're a housewife. You do it, you know. The office. crowd claps for over overpopulation. At the moment, she does 600 <laughs> words to the minute. Never stops rabbiting. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's Michael. <laughs> it's clever. Michael, you work for a house plants firm, don't you? That's correct. Yes, you yes. do. Yes. You should see my wife's sister. She lives near you, Barbara. She's got green fingers. Doesn't know anything about gardening. She's going mouldy. <laughs> Let's play Family Fortunes. <laughs> My guy and his boss, but already. Idea, don't you, lads? You, I ask you questions. They'll all go up on the board. If you break the 300 barrier, you can go in for double money. There's seven answers on the board. Name something that keeps you awake. Coffee. Brian. Traffic noise. Traffic noise. Noise. Traffic noise. 
Street noise, yeah. I suppose that I button sounds like a street noise. But the answer, too. Well, pass. You'll pass. I'll take it over with all this family here. You'll Seven pass? Answers. Okay. All right, uh, Victor. Name something that keeps you awake. Late night parties. Late night parties. Are they up there? Oof. No, late night parties, no. Doreen, what keeps you awake at night? Cats. I was going to say him. <laughs> <laughs> Cats! Oof. Oh, that's not there, no. Brutality. Um, Yvette? The baby. The baby, a yeah, baby crying. Your baby cries. Oh. Yeah. And Yvette, you have won a matching kettle, a toaster, a fryer, and a percolator. Thank you. Whatever a percolator right, is. Well, hop in my pocket. <laughs> it's Tina. Name something that keeps you awake. Snoring. Snoring. Snoring! Oh, yeah. Good, good girl. Good girl. And you've won a 14-inch portable colour television set. Let's go. It's portable, Tina. And my old friend Taffy. Insomnia. Insomnia. <laughs> Insomnia keeps you awake. Oh. No, it doesn't. Let's have a little That's a good answer. Brian and the family. Brian Johnson, any ideas? Um, Something that keeps you awake. Coffee. Doors banging? Doors banging. Door banging. <laughs> no, you won the prize. <laughs> you won 42 pounds, and in case you're wondering what the answers to the others were, number six was dog barking, number five was and number three was Rrr. and number two was <laughs> all right can we go for round two please <laughs> fuck come on man <laughs> jenny and doreen yes um all ready for the questions you yes. kill it me small name an article of clothing worn above the belt shirt just you i think blouse a blouse a blouse is that a yes. and a prize and a prize of a soda stream drink maker. Lovely. Thank Isn't you. Nice? Yeah. Like it? Yeah. But it's not the top answer. So uh, what would you say, Jenny? Something worn above the belt. Shirt. Sure. A jumper. A jumper. Oh, uh, yes. brutality. Right. But... Play or pass? Play, please. Play? OK, here we go. All right, Yvette. Um, name something, an article of clothing that's worn above the belt. Above. Tie. Yeah, a tie. A tie. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> Tina. Um, a vest. A vest, yes. A vest. Are they thinking shirt's um, not going to be on there because blouse waistcoat. on? A waistcoat. A waistcoat. <laughs> Amazing that, isn't it? I go back here. And Victor? Pro. Shirt. A shirt. Thank you. A shirt. Yes. Oh, that's not number one. A hat. Sorry. A jacket. A jacket, a jacket. Yeah, uh -huh. doing very well. Yvette? Uh, underwear, bra. A bra, yeah, a bra, sure, a bra. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh. Very tricky, uh, Tina. Um, scarf. A scarf, yes, oh, a that. scarf. Ah. No. I think it's hat. Now you've had a little conference. Could you suggest what? Uh... A hat. Yes. A hat. Yes. A hat. Really? No. You've won the game. What is it? Number seven is a collar. Oh, come on. I thought I'd have gone with a shirt, wouldn't you? <laughs> come along, Bob. Come on in. That's guys. some bullshit. Round three. I'm going to sue you, Max Blackrick. <laughs> Oh, Bob, I like him. He's got a good laugh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Uh -huh. Eight answers on the board. Eight of them. Living or dead, name a famous Irishman. Dermot Morgan. Yes. Disraeli. Disraeli? Was he Irish? Oh, this is no. the 80s, though. <laughs> I said, I have to go Disraeli. <laughs> Yvette, a famous Art Irishman. <laughs> Tom O'Connor. Tom O'Connor, yeah. Tom O'Connor. No, that's not. You're allowed two more goes, Bob. They don't know any Irish people. Famous Irish <laughs> man. Not for Des the eighties. Des O'Connor. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, 
Yvette, a famous Irish. The guy from Mock the Week. Um, <laughs> Daryl Brand. Thomas O'Malley. Thomas O'Malley, yes. That's right, yes. <laughs> He's got the fish shop in Kilburn, hasn't he? Yes. Thomas O'Malley. Shit! <laughs> Go back to your places. Come on, Tina. Come on, Margaret. Bro, fuck the Irish, I guess. <laughs> Ireland punch in the air. You wouldn't believe it, would you? No, it's the same it's question. Shit. We're still oh, going to do shit. it. <laughs> Name a famous Irishman. <laughs> Fully. <laughs> God, blimey. There's millions of them. Yeah. Uh, Tina. <laughs> a great question, isn't it? Got it. Who? Hemingway. <laughs> Hemingway. Ah. <laughs> Tina, a famous Irish man. <laughs> Huey McPhee. <laughs> Jimmy McPhee. No. Well, Can we have the next two, please? Oh shit. Come on, Michael. Somebody's got to know someone from Ireland. This. I'll tell you what, if you just get, if you get two answers, I'm going to give it to you. A, f <laughs> a famous Irish man. Yes, sir. Gareth Fitzgerald. <laughs> Gareth Fitzgerald. Damn it. <laughs> Taffy. Terry Wogan. <laughs> hey. There we go. Holy shit. <laughs> and you've won yourself a carriage clock as well. Yeah. What will you do? Will you play or will you pass? Pass, I should think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God, oh. So I come to Brian. Cool. George Best. Georgie Best. Yes, Georgie Best. There we yeah. go. At last. Jenny. Eamon Andrews? Eamon Andrews, yes. Eamon oh, Andrews. now we can think of fucking Irish people, huh? Jerry Fitt. Jerry Fitt, yes, a lovely man. Jerry Fitt. Ooh. No, not there. A famous Irishman, Margaret. You've got uh, one, two, one life gone. Hurricane Higgins? <laughs> Hurricane, yes, he could. Hurricane Higgins. Nope. Oh. Amazing, isn't it? Michael? No. No, it's not. It's what, it's not over yet? No. no, you've got one to go. Don't what tell me how to play it. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing it two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, um, any famous Irishman? Oh dear. Oh, no. um, Bill Clinton. Paisley. Ian Paisley, yes. Yeah. Ian Paisley. Hey! Yeah, <laughs> still in the game. We're still looking for answers, Brian. Any famous Irishman? Val Dooningen. Val Dunica, of course. Val, yeah. Val Dunica, oh, okay. there you are. Jenny, any famous Irishman? Trevor MacDonald? Trevor MacDonald. <laughs> 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 Trevor MacDonald. Damn it. <laughs> Had a conference here, have you? Come on, Vic. Come up with a, any famous well, Irishman. All we can think of is a prime minister, an ex-prime minister, De Valera. De Valera. De Valera. Yeah, Eamon De Valera. Yeah, Eamon De Valera. Oh! No, you won the money. Oh! Good lord. Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you who the others were. <laughs> Number six was. <laughs> Number four was. <laughs> and number three was. Bernard Shaw, yes. We're going for a commercial break, but when we come I back, we'll be so. playing for Double Money. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I don't know shit about it. <laughs> God, that's funny. Thank you. And welcome back to the Irish Embassy. <laughs> <laughs> Where the Dolby family up to now have won themselves a, ma a matching kettle, toaster, fryer and percolator. 
and the, uh, they also have a 14-inch portable colour TV, a soda stream drinking maker, and a carriage clock plus 130 pounds. Doing well, aren't you? And the Johnson family, from where? Haven't where? got anything yet except 64 pounds. But don't worry, we could make that all up. And into the pride of Ireland. Money. We are now going to play for double money. Say hello to Casey O'Toole. <laughs> Here we go for double money. Name a food sometimes rolled in flour before cooking. What would you say? Dough. Dough. No. No dough. <laughs> Get this lot for <laughs> Victor. Uh, beef. Pardon? Beef. 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 <laughs> you have a second go. Name of food sometimes rolled in flour before cooking. <laughs> Hit the buzz with you now. <laughs> Oh, is it your turn? I don't. I don't know. Pardon? Fish. Fish. Thank God for that. Fish. <laughs> <laughs> and you deserve this. You've won a 44 piece silver plated canteen of cutlery. Nice. You can eat fish with it. Play? Well, play, yeah. Play, yes, all right. All right, Doreen, there's uh, five answers to go. You, you ladies know this, don't they? Name, name a food sometimes rolled in flour before cooking. Chicken. 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 Yeah. Yes. And a prize. And what do you They're think? They're getting all the prizes. You've won a hi-fi system. Good God. Thank you. They're getting all the prizes. Speakers and everything, yeah. Yvette, a food you sometimes roll in flour before cooking. Sausages. Sausage, do you? <laughs> Sausages! <laughs> hey! Oh, yeah. good. Suck it, Max. Come on, use your loaf. <laughs> fish cakes. Fish cakes. Fish cakes. That's already fish. No, that's not up there. Taffy, you're a man of the world. Small fruit, raisins. Pardon? Small fruit, raisins. Yeah, raisins. Like... Small fruit, yeah. Raisins. And no, Oof. it's not there. Victor? Veal. Veal. Veal, I'm sure you do. Vienna schnitzel. No. Still. I've got to give you a chance over here, the Johnson family. Don't blow it. <laughs> I think. Come on, just before you go back to the asylum. <laughs> Six answers on the board. You've Any got... food you sometimes roll in flour before cooking? You roll pastry. Pastry, yeah, that's right. Okay. Pastry. Hey! Oh, you've won it! Oh, good! Let's go! Oh, that's better, isn't it? Number three was dumplings, and number two was liver. Mm. I didn't know that. I didn't know you rolled... Yeah, you do. Um, could we have round four, please? Five. Five. <laughs> Meet again. Round whatever. Three answers on the board. Name, listen very carefully to this, name an excuse a girl makes for breaking a date with a boyfriend. I'm tired. Yes? Jenny? Washing her hair? She's washing her hair. Yes. Oh! Can you play or pass? Yeah. Play. Play? Okay, there's only three answers on the board. Sure, Bob, name an excuse a girl makes for breaking a date with a boyfriend. She can't make the time. Can't make the time. Yes. <laughs> She's tired. <laughs> I think I'll pass. <laughs> <laughs> Margaret. Another engagement. Another engagement. Another. Oh, another engagement. Michael. Name an excuse a girl makes for breaking a date with She's a boyfriend. She's tired. Read. Ah, uh, she's not well. She's there we not go. well. Illness or something like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That counts. And you have won a prize. A weekend break for two. All right, I got a prize. <laughs>
She won't have a headache then. What a shame it wasn't Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> we still want one more answer. Tired. Name an excuse a girl makes for breaking a date with a boyfriend. Um, she has to stay in to look after other members of the family. Yeah, she's got a she got a babysit or look after somebody in the family. <laughs> no. Tired, Victor? tired, 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 an tired. They make. She's got to work late. Got to work late. She's got to work late. No, it's not that. Good. What is it? Swear to God, it's tired. And the answers to number three was she oh. forgot. That <laughs> <laughs> That's more brutal than I so, thought. So, I'm afraid that uh, the Dolby fan... Oh, what a night. That's one of the funniest programs I've ever done. <laughs> oh, so thank you very much, Victor. You've had a lovely time, haven't you? Yeah, Take right. that home. There's right. all, the, uh, all the gang of us all there, right. and it's been lovely seeing you. Thanks it really is great. Victor, oh, all the very best. Safe journey thank home, you. Doreen. Thank bye, you. Yvette. Bye. Lovely seeing you. <laughs> bye, Tina. And bye, Kathy. Bye. Lovely seeing you. Right. And who's going to play for Big Money? Bob and Michael. Bob and Michael, come this way! Oh boy. <laughs> oh, I can't remember. Hot work, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> Hold me up, Bob. So, on we go with Mutt and Jeff. I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> there are 15 set. No, one of you's got to go <laughs> into the dark. I hope he never comes back. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> There are 15 seconds on the <laughs> clock. I'm going to ask you five questions. The clock will not start until I have asked the first question. All, all clear? Okay. Good luck, and I hope you win the money. I hope Name they do too. Name something people take with them to the beach. Cow. A towel. The first thing you buy in a supermarket. Milk. Uh, bread. A food often stuffed. Chicken. Any famous snooker player. Uh, Hurricane Higgins. An outdoor ball game. Football. Tennis. Tennis. Very good. Very good. Let's see if you're on your way to a thousand pounds, eh? Name something people take with them to the beach. You said a towel, and the survey said 18. The first thing you buy in a supermarket, you said bread, and the answer to that was 28. A food often stuffed, you said chicken, and that was the top marks. That was 58. Nice. Yeah. We said. Any famous snooker player, you said Hurricane Higgins, and the score for that was 14. And then we said an outdoor ball game, you said tennis, and the survey said 11. So you got 113. 13. Pretty good. 11. Yeah. That's not an 11, Matt. Get the ball. Hello, Bob. It's nice to see you sober. And, uh, <laughs> now, you've got 20 seconds on the clock. It will not start until I've asked you the first question. You're in a pretty good position, so if you get it right, you could walk away with a big lot of money. And when you hear this, it means that the question has been answered, so we will ask you to do it again. OK? Uh -huh. All right. We're starting from now. Already all set? Yes, yeah. Name something people take with them to the beach. Turkey. The, f <laughs> the first thing you buy in a supermarket. Uh, turkey. <laughs> a food often stuffed. Turkey. <laughs> Any famous snooker player? Hurricane Higgins. Let's try again. Uh, Any famous snooker player? Oh, ah, your time is out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Now, you've got a chance here of making £1,000 in two weeks. Two weeks in Turkey. Oh, <laughs> I said what to you, the fuck? name something people take with them to the beach. You said. <laughs> and the answer was. <laughs> the first thing you buy in a supermarket. The answer was. <laughs> and, and the survey gave you. <laughs> a food often stuffed. You said. <laughs> And that gave you 21! <laughs> and then we said... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and unfortunately... Ah, <laughs> oh, you didn't beat the clock, but I'll tell you what, you won 152 pounds doubled. You have 354 up there, and you've got all those prizes, and you can go back to the asylum with the people. <laughs> 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 
and we shall be back next week with 1500 pounds on family fortune oh my Until god then, Bro, they're gonna beat the shit out of him when he goes home and said turkey. <laughs> you know, when the episode started, I thought, oh, okay, maybe Scarrow just requested this because that guy's name was Taffy. No. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> that's gotta be. I don't know if that's an all time episode of the show, but I'm just assuming. Like, that's gotta be. Nobody knew fuck all about Ireland. <laughs> and. Neither did I, to be fair. But, oh my god. The fucking ending. I I, I, I feel him so much because sometimes you're in a nervous position and you just blurt out the first thing that comes to your mind. But my guy said turkey. <laughs> he could have gone sunscreen lotion, but no. For something you take to the beach. Turkey. <laughs> Bro, he got jumped when he got home. Like, <clears throat> his family probably beat the shit out of him. <laughs> and I don't blame them at all. They got a decent amount of money, though. Holy shit, that was so funny. What a, what a fucking episode. I'll tell you what. Well, I I guess that was two weeks into, into Max's run as well, judging by, <laughs> judging by what he said. Fuck, that was so funny. Well... That's it for my second reaction to Family Fortunes. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, that is it for me today. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to leave it a like. If you didn't like it, don't. Thank you again, Scar, for using your points on this. If you want to follow any of my social media links, they're all in the video description down below, uh, as well as names of all my patrons. If you didn't know, you can be a patron me for as little as $1 or one pound, and you get access to direction videos, as well as we're reading your comments up to a day early, sometimes more. For all that being said, though, my name is Stanford Steen. This has been my second reaction to Family Fortunes, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.